I actually got into photography because I started in um, like painting and drawing and I kind of wanted to like expand my horizons um, as far as like artistic abilities. So it was just kind of more me as a freshman in high school wanting to branch out. I think I wanted to turn photography into a major just because career-wise I wanted to do something that I would enjoy. You know, whether or not this ever becomes my full-blown career, like just photography, or if I just become like a communications like media person in general, I wanted to do something that I would love, you know, and be passionate about like my whole life. You know, I feel like, you know, if you're not if you're not doing something you love, then why are you doing it? Up until this year, I did a lot of nature photography. Um, I did a lot of product stuff, um, and then after taking a digital photography course here, I actually started working with um, like models and people more. I think some of the images that are of greatest interest to me is the way she photographs people. She has an ability to connect with them and you can see that connection through the photograph. And I think that's very important and also difficult uh, for many photographers to get to that place where they can break barriers and actually say something about the individual as opposed to just showing us what they look like. It's kind of funny because at one point models, I was horrified of doing any kind of model work with people just because like you don't know like you know how to get the emotions out. But recently, that's like become my favorite thing. Um, I just did a um, a shoot that was theme themed was pain. So I actually shot with my friend Natalie, and um, I really liked it. We went to a graveyard and we did like very gothic, very like morbid, but it's also very like emotional um, because like I like. The best thing about working with her is like she's very intense with like her eyes, so like I can direct her, but then she really like pulls it out. Another one I did was I did like a um, punk rock type thing with my best friend Rachel, um, and she's also very like an intense person. So like I think I just like working with people the most, just because it's very um, you get more out of it. You know, it's not just you know nature. It's not just you know there's an emotion behind it. I think you can have emotion in nature, but it's a different kind of emotion with people. It's like a, a direct connection. You can look at a person and you can look at them and you can think, oh, I've been in that, like I've been in that position. I can understand, like you're connecting with the photo a little bit more. And it's not so much that you don't connect with nature, but I think people really like pull it out of one another. I think the thing that like inspired me the most is like, I always like seeing like ordinary things and then finding a weird way to make them I guess like extraordinary or different or like, you know, whether it be like abstracting something. I love lighting. I'm very like, I like moody lighting, you know, very like intense, where, whether it's backlit or, you know, um, heart, like, you know, harsh shadows. I like, I like the play of light. Um, but then I also like, you know, I started exploring motion recently. I shot a, um, the Sacred Heart uh, dance show and I actually did some abstract stuff where you can see the full motion of like their arms and stuff and they don't necessarily look like dancers but they capture like the movement. I look for the good light but then I look what, for what I can do like in the light you know or with what's around me and like shapes and you know everything like that and I think that's where like the background in traditional art comes in handy because it literally just tra directly translates right over. I think the real reason that I find that Gianna stands out uh, above other students is because she brings a passion to her photography that I don't see often. Uh, she seemed to connect it uh, to photography in a way that she's found her voice and that's very important to me as a teacher that a student can find the tool and then use it to say things that are important. I like that I can translate um, my artistic ability into something different, you know, where you're working with lighting and contrasting and shadows, you know, but it's not just with paintbrushes anymore, it's with like the real like world. And I think it's kind of cool because it brings like um, a different element to it. And I think that's what like what kind of drives my passion is it's not just um, pen and paper, or pencil and paper anymore, it's, it's physical real world like stuff. I think if I had to give myself um, advice, and I think I do give myself this advice a lot, you, c you tend to compare yourself to other people, you know, like, oh, like, I'm not at that stage of so-and-so is, you know, already, you know, doing this and doing that, and I think, like, 
artists need to like stop comparing themselves to other artists and just focus on yourself and like you know appreciate what you you know what you're doing and like you know don't belittle your own work just because you know you might not be at the level of someone else and being like a mostly self-taught artist until the past like I really didn't start learning anything serious probably like two years ago you know that was like a really big struggle for me I was always comparing myself to like other people and I think the biggest thing is like just not to not to take your own work for granted you should appreciate what you can do and be like proud of what you can do